Hello everyone. Um, I've just put together um, a short little video um, for you to watch. Uh, of It's just going to basically include um, a few uh, training techniques that you can do um, outside, of, outside of normal shooting. Obviously we're in a situation at the moment where um, the vast majority of the membership um, has nowhere to shoot uh, you know outside of the outside of the home uh, at present um, it's obviously a great privilege for us um, on the on the Olympic squad like training um, towards hopefully an Olympic Games that is going to happen this summer um, and I think um, we should count ourselves very lucky that we're still you know being afforded that privilege um, through the sort of continuance of elite sport um, to, to happen however um, that's not obviously without responsibility and you know part of that responsibility I guess is um, staying in touch with you guys uh, in whatever whatever way shape or form we can and um, you know sport is all about inspiring others so hopefully um, what I've put put for put together today um, can be of inspiration to you and, and of value to you uh, in keeping you going and keeping you in in this great sport um, through such a difficult and testing time. So uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get cracking. So the first one, uh, something you might have seen, something similar you might have seen uh, before in previous previous videos um, done by some of my, some of my colleagues. Um, it's just gonna be sort of a basic, basic reversal. Um, so just up and, and holding um, for a sort of prescriptive time. We're also, we're actually just gonna come forward and backwards for about three repetitions um, and that's going to be uh, after about after a five second hold so up for five and then one two three and back for another five and then down so that would be one one reversal and I guess uh, the benefit that you'll get from doing this, or, or where you'll feel it, you know, most difficult, most trying, will be through the sort of forearm uh, area here um, and, the, and the wrist area, and, and it, because obviously through through the draw for most of us, um, before we get to you know like a solid anchor where we can sort of rest and uh, take some of the strain as you were like. Um, so, so to transfer, um, as a lot of coaches would would refer to it, when we sort of transfer onto the back, um, it's it, it's just going to test that sort of that that moment of that moment of weakness where you're at sort of the critical point where you're not really you're not really in line yet. So the the stress from the load of the bow is at its greatest. So it's really going to work that that weak area and specifically through that weak moment just before you make the anchor and obviously make the make the line and then make your strongest strongest position so i'll just try and demonstrate one of those so up for five and one two three and then hold for five And then down, and then in between, take as as much rest as you feel you need to. I would I would recommend at least, um, if you consider we were holding then for probably about fifteen to twenty seconds under load, taking into account the um, the drawdowns. Um, I would say at least at least a forty second rest um, between between the ne before the next repetition. Um, you can take it down a little bit more, however, you know, obviously, you know, you're going to be doing a fair few number of this um, to make it a sort of worthwhile session, at least 10 to 15 repetitions, I would say. So, which creates the roughly sort of 15, 20 minutes of, of session time um, when you add it all up. Um, and you really want, you obviously don't want to be, you know, comp to the point where you've, you, you've burnt out like the the forearm as such you know by the end of the session and you're, you're sort of struggling to do it with any quality you want to be maintaining as good a quality as you can whilst also whilst also find, finding that it's it's pretty challenging um yeah i would i would say 
that should, that will probably be of most benefit to that you know to that weak area for for a lot of us. Next one then, um, which I think has probably been covered by um, again I covered before by a few of my colleagues, um, and it's going to mainly working on you know just out and out endurance really and improving your control of what of your actual draw weight um, and that's just essentially putting this uh, rubber band so the sort of uh, the theraband if you like i think it's known as um, and you can get these from most of the major archery retailers um, in the country you're just going to literally wrap it round on the bottom just below the uh, below where the long rod and the extender is and then around the string as well and that drawing that back is going to add anywhere between probably two and four pounds um, of weight on top of you, you know your normal draw weight. Um, so it's a quick and easy way to make, uh, to increase the intensity of the um, of load that you're, you're drawing back and forth. Um, so, and I would say, yeah, just do your standard reversal, so up and hold for anywhere that you feel you can again maintain a decent quality so you can maintain the lines you know you, you, your technique's not breaking down completely um, even if that's as you know short as five or five to ten seconds you know being at full draw um, it's all it all matters it's all going to make a difference um, so yeah if I just do a rep here for try and count out ten seconds in my head Ten. Uh, and if uh, yeah, so if I was holding for ten, then again I'd probably go for at least the rest of about thirty seconds before I went for the next the next repetition. And again, well, if we think that's probably about fifty seconds, forty five seconds for one. So yeah, I would say probably about fifteen to twenty reps would be a decent decent enough session again. Um, but obviously, you know, you know your own body, you know your own limitations, and, and sort of the level, the level that you're at. So you know, just tailor it, tailor it down. You know, we want to feel some benefit rather than just completely, you know, strip you out and uh, you know leave you leave you fit for nothing. Um, so yeah, that's a really good one for building endurance. My final. Um, training means uh, is going to involve uh, this little elbow sling here this is a homemade one so it looks a bit agricultural maybe I've not seen something like this before in the shops but yeah uh, four master elbow sling whatever you want to call it um, we're just going to, literally going to tie it on and we're going to use this once we hook ourselves up to it uh, we're essentially going to use this to draw from the elbow and help um, help us create as good a line as we can effectively use it as a as a training aid to um, bring us back more into line this way um, yeah if you're someone who maybe is, is a little bit triangulated maybe you know you've, like you've read you've read the books you've seen you know what the biomechanically best um, you know line is to, to shoot in um, or you know you feel like your own alignment could be improved or if, if you know you're not aware then you know hopefully this video can be of, of use to you sort of thing to, to just try and get more in line um, and create a you know a stronger platform from which to deliver the arrow towards the target and make it ultimately more reliable um, so yeah if you're someone that wants to improve the line and bring it around this could, this could be quite useful so it's literally I'm not going to draw with the I'll show you this way first I'm not going to draw the string with my with my hand. I'm just going to draw everything from the elbow, and it my anchor is roughly here. And I'm just going to feel free to like rock rock it back and just make that movement in of of how it should be. And you can see when you draw back, it just gives you a sense of where everything is and you know where. Uh, 
where a tighter line, you know, where your elbow comes to create a tighter line as such. So if I can do it here, I've got a desk in the way, so it's really interesting to draw. Hopefully, hopefully that shows you. So I'd say that I'm probably, it doesn't really show it that well, unfortunately. Um, but I would say I'm definitely got to be in, in further line than I would find normally when I'm shooting. And it just it just acts as a good, um, yeah, sensory aid to sort of tell you, you know, how where your where your elbow is in space. If you can, uh, like I'm kind of filming this video um, for you, if you can, if you're able to get hold of like a tripod. Um, with a, an adapter for your for your phone um, that you can sort of screw onto the screw onto the tripod um, and then film yourself um, and you don't even need to you know it's not even like you're filming on your phone's camera you can go onto like an app store either like Apple Apple App Store or the Google Play Store for Android and uh, download um, like a video delay um, application so that that essentially um, causes like a, a screen delay on um, the I on the image that's that's being taken. So you know it record it records uh, in real time, but the feedback you get um, from the from the screen um, it's almost like a mirroring effect, a delayed mirror effect. So it will it will play back what was recorded, you know, ten seconds earlier as such. So you can actually perform a repetition, um, perform a draw come down and then in your rest time you can obviously watch um, watch the shot you know playback um, watch the you know the draw playback so that's really useful for again developing a sense of where your body is in space like how it's how it's moving through the shot like whether you've got like for instance this way whether you've got any forwards or backwards sway you could monitor as you as you're holding uh, in which case you know that you could then you know, take it a bit further with uh, working on your core and things like that. You know, there's it just opens up more opportunities for and, and possibilities of where you can improve. Um, and likewise, you can see, you know, if you've got any head movement coming in as you as you draw the bow. Um, yeah, a really really useful training aid and one I would I would thoroughly recommend. There's a lot of free. You don't even have to like pay for the app. There's a lot of free. Um, apps like it, so video video delay um, apps is what, is what you'd have to search and yeah a lot of free ones out there that are, do a really good job um, yeah highly recommend um, yeah I hope that's been really useful for you guys and um, I look forward to seeing you all on a shooting field on a competition field uh, in hopefully the not too distant future take care guys